Hey everyone, my name is Julius. Uh, I've been running this workshop called Competing for Designers. It just started last week. Um, in the first workshop, we talked about uh, this concept of mapping, which is taking one set of numbers and converting it to another set of numbers, and how useful that is in microinteractions, animation, and just kind of software in general. And um, I want to do another example just to kind of cement this concept and figure it out, share it broadly anyway. Uh, I was on Twitter and I saw this example by uh, Janam Trivedi, and um, this developer had created, recreated this Apple Card animation where as you rotate the device, these dots change in color. So there's a nice gradient effect. And they explain this key idea where you take the distance from each dot to some focal point, and then you map that distance to hue in HSL, which is hue, saturation, uh, luminosity, I think. Um, and so I just wanted to break this down. So let's go over Figma. So let's just take this you know, example of three dots. And then we draw some arbitrary focal point. And it would draw the distance between here. right? So each line would take that length. And then we would take that value. And we just plug that into HSL, or in this case, HSB, which is pretty close. And you'll notice that 140 right, corresponds nicely to 140 degrees. And here is from 0 to 360 degrees is how this color tool I used. Uh, displayed it, and then 60 here is a nice yellow, uh, this 140 is a green, and then blue is 240. And so this is really nice, right? Uh, kind of one-to-one -one simple conversion. So there, there's not really much mapping here. I mean, there's a conceptual mapping from, you know, length to color space, but we're not really doing much with the numbers, right? So um, just to kind of cement this concept here of this focal point. So let's say we move the focal point and these distances changes. Right? And then so now we have these values here. Right? So this one is you know, 91. And so now it's a green. This one's 270, which is a more purple. And 140, which uh, we saw above here, right? it's a kind of um, less limey green, a little bit bluer, bluer green. And uh, that's all nice and good. But what if you know, you're know you not really happy with this gradient here? It's like too different between each point. Um, one thing you could do is map that range right? from 0 to 360. Uh, instead of that to some smaller range so that the change between lengths is not as drastic. So like let's say for example we want to take this distance of you know 0 to 360 px because we're talking about the length of the lines and we want to convert that to degrees right which originally we were just doing 0 to 360 as well. Um, let's just change it to 0 to 50 and so you know it's a pretty simple math equation uh, but you basically uh, take you know the pre previous value divided by the previous max, and then you multiply it by the new max. So, in this example, two hundred seventy-six converts to thirty-eight, and so now this is thirty-eight degrees cube, which is quite nice. Uh, you have this more orange to red, and then red orange, and so it's definitely a little bit more subtle. Right? So this is nineteen now instead of one forty, and that's an example of something you can do with mapping. It's just kind of reducing intensity or increased intensity uh, in this case of the color. Um, another example of mapping, which is actually looking at the device gyroscope. So the way that the um, card animation works is that you rotate device and this focal point moves, right? So you're controlling the X and Y distance, the offset of this point position uh, by the degree rotation here. And the way that rotations work in 3D with a gyroscope is uh, you have three axes, right? X, Y, and Z. And so the axes are drawn in the way, you know, kind of you're used to in like a math graph. Um, but the effect is actually kind of counterintuitive. So if you're rotating your device left to right, that's actually not an x-axis x axis rotation. It's a y-axis, right? Because you imagine you skewer the device vertically on the spit on barbecue, and you're kind of rotating it like this. It's actually a left-right rotation for a y-axis. Sorry, a left to right. It's a y-axis rotation for left to right. And then similarly for an x-axis, you're rotating the phone up and down, which um, you just feels more like Y, but anyway, that's how it's done. And so, like, you actually want to map from, let's say, this left to right rotation, right, um, to some X position offset. And so, in this case, like, let's say, you know, you rotate 30 degrees, which I think is pretty reasonable. You know, most people aren't probably rotating, like, you know, full 90 degrees. Uh, so let's take that range and then map that to, you know, maybe the edge of the device, right? So we're, we're talking about moving this focal point from all the way to the left of the device to all the way to the right based on a 30 degree rotation. In that case, you would maybe just take the device with divided 2, which might be like 320 divided 2, which is like negative 180. Um, and you do that for both the Y rotation and X O rotation, which 
correspondingly uh, convert to the x and y offset. And so that's another example of how you take you know, something like degrees and then convert that to pixels offset. And the nice thing about mapping is that once you've set up this conversion, you can very easily just change this, right? So let's say, you know, we thought that actually, no, there's not enough change now. And then we want to do it to you know, something like 180, right? And then all these values would update uh, correspondingly to have a little bit more difference. And the same thing here, like you're refining that rotation is changing the focal point way too much, way, way too fast. Um, you could maybe increase the degree of rotation. You know, let's say we actually want 60 to mean like to all the way to the right of the device. Um, and these two mappings uh, end up working in tandem, right? So uh, both of these tweaking the ranges will affect how the color um, changes for each dot. And so it's just kind of different ways to look at this same concept of animation. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of a breakdown and this is the type of stuff uh, we're doing in this uh, Competing for Designers workshop. Um, we're just having a first trial run of three sessions for now, but um, still experimenting with the format, wanted to be kind of a co-learning community. And if you're interested, you can go to computingfordesigners.com. Um, I have a newsletter that you can sign up for. Uh, it's not, I haven't mailed anyone yet really, but um, you know, eventually I will. But yeah, this is just kind of some content that I'm experimenting with and hopefully this is helpful for someone and please share it with your friends. Um, yeah, thanks.